Brian Tolnar from Mill Creek Golf Course in Boardman, Ohio with this week's golf tip from Mill Creek. Today's tip we're going to talk about what we call the setup and the, the general golf swing. So a lot of times when we get people taking golf lessons, a couple questions come, come arise. We've got our alignment that we've worked in in previous episodes where our feet, knees, hips, and shoulders are all parallel to the target, but the question we get the most is how do I stand, how far do I stand, how much knee bend, how much hip tilt do we need and today we're going to go over all those variables to make you a better golfer. So we'll start off with basically taking our grip. As you can see we still have our alignment uh, target still on the ground here. We've got our foot position, feet, knees, hips and shoulders and our target line. So one of the things that we want to do is we'll take our grip. I want everybody to just hold the club out like that. Nice relaxed position and we're going to put the club down to the ground to what soles on the ground. This is going to be our position that we're going to be in. A nice relaxed position where we're not reaching for the golf ball and the weight's on our toes or it's too close to our body and the weight tend to, tends to go to our heels. So in this position, this is a nice comfortable position and you notice a couple things. As, I, as you look at the end of the club, I have a lot of space, almost about a hand's length between the body and where that end of that grip is. That's a good comfortable position to be able to make our golf swing to where it doesn't affect our body or interfere with our body on the back swing or follow through. So this is our, our position that we want to be in. Knee flex, another question that we get quite often, how much knee flex do we need? We want to have a little bit to where we can rotate our knees and our hips around. We don't want to be down so far to where we restrict our lower body and we can't make our spine angle turn. So we would be slightly right here. You'll notice that there's a little bit of knee bend there in, in both, but not quite a lot, or we're not very tall because this would limit and restrict our backswing as well. So a nice comfortable position there. And then you want to think of your spine angle. So I'm going to take this club and you'll notice I'm not hunched over to where my weight goes on my toes. I'm just in a nice comfortable position because our goal is to be able to make a golf swing that rotates around our spine without having our legs bow, without having our, our uh, knees being down too squatted. So a nice comfortable position would be a little bit of, of knee flex, not too much, a little bit of hip bend from the back's position. And now we're ready to make our golf swing. So a couple things are gonna happen. As we make our golf swing, a good rule of thumb is if I take my hands off the club and I put them on my shoulders, really just rotate around. This is what we want to see. We want to see that left shoulder come back to where the golf ball is. We want to see my weight starting to work towards my back foot. This is a good backswing position. Normally my hands would be here on the backswing and we're going to do the same thing rotating through. As we make that swing, we're going to be back to the setup position. Our follow through goes just like so. You'll see a couple things happen as we go forward. You'll notice that my shoulders are now directly aimed at my target. When I'm finished with a swing, my hands would normally be here. My belt buckle is pointing directly at the target and my right knee is pointing at the target as well. So we also have our weight going from back to front and you'll notice my back foot is off the ground as well. So I can see the bottom part of my golf shoe when I'm finished and my hands are nice and high over my shoulders. So as we take the club back and we make this golf swing, I tell everybody you want to be about 50-50 from a weight distribution standpoint from a setup. As you take the club back, you'll, you'll notice more weight is coming towards my backside here. Again, just like that shoulder drill, we're going to get the club up top. It should be pointing at your target from here. We don't want it to be left or right at the top. We want to make sure it's perfectly parallel with where our foot line is. Once we get up here, we're about 80-20, so I've got 80% of my weight on that back foot. This is where your power is going to come from. We're going to continue to come back down. You'll notice that the, the club is in a good toe-up position. Impact is square, rotating through down the line. I'm toe-up here, and you'll notice my weight shift is starting to go forward. So as we finish, we want to finish 90-10. Very important that all our weight makes it there to gain our power. And again, you'll notice my finish position. Hands are above the left shoulder. My shoulders are parallel to the target. My belt buckle's on the target. My right knee is at the target as well. And most importantly, 90% of my weight went from my back foot to my front foot. So we're going to finish 90-10. So this is the position that you want to be. And I'll do one swing just in full motion, just so you can see it. So as we take the club back, as we get the club to go through, this is, this is the golf swing. Notice it's nice and imbalanced. I'm not swinging very hard. I'm keeping my body in check, my timing and my rhythm is good. Back to front. 
just like that. He ends up here at the target. If you make those swings with good balance, you're going to hit a lot of very, very good shots. For this and any other thing, please check out MillCreekMetroParks.org or call us at 330-740-7112 to get your next golf tip.